Welcome everybody. We had three amazing sessions since the stream restart and hopefully we can continue. Let's go directly into the action. No Limit 100 Zoom on PokerStars. There we go. I played a few hands already. As you can see here with the ace five suited, it was a bluffish four bet. In that case, it went through. Look at the table away and let's go. If you have not seen the first three sessions, I spoke about uh, all the numbers on the table. For example, here, my customized bet sizings or the RNG. All that stuff comes from Stars Caption. It's an external program which can handle that. Um, here we could go for a smaller three bet, but he opened three X against his shove. I think there's nothing we can do. Should we just call preflop and uh, pay play post flop? I dislike because on a lower limit the rake is higher and hopefully he calls behind a lot of hands and does not shove too light and then it should be fine. Maybe he just had it. Okay, uh, the queen pairs. He sh he only has a speed if he has like uh, eights and nines. Obviously queen x is possible. But hopefully he does not have too many of those and has more ace high type ish hands. A weaker 7x, pocket 6s, 5s and so on. Against the 3x open race, I fold this hand in uh, in the big blind. All right, that was a long tank and then a three bet from Germany. Um, we could consider a bluff four bet with the King X. I would like to do it with King nine suited, for example. Given his smaller three betting size, uh, we can also call behind some hands, not that one. My heart is very simple. I just build it for those sessions. Normally, I do not play on Poker Stars and I do not play uh, Zoom 100. So it's not expected that I have a lot of hands from my opponents. That gives me just a rough overview. If anyone is a real fish, a whale, a nitty player, or so. On that board. I go for a small bet with uh, a lot of hands. I think on the turn we see a lot of folds from his side. Should we should we check the turn and let him do the job? I mean, if he has an eight and takes a free card with his uh, kicker, he has about five outs, which are ten percent to the river. I dislike to give him, give it to him, and yeah, I'm not sure if he has enough bluffs if we check the turn. Also, we want to barrel a lot of you know flush draws, queen ten, open ended straight draw type of hand, so we should add some of the. Some of the good top pairs as well. Strange he called from the small blind against my open race and folds on a lowish board. That was unexpected. Mostly I would uh, <clears throat> expect him to have a lot of mid pairs or, or low pairs. And they connect very well to the 976 board and or 986 board. And if he does not have that, I think 
Mm, he has some uh, Queen Jack, which continues as well with two overcards and and a gut shot. So here against two players, we try to hit a set. No set. I go for a check call here. We could also barrel against this king queen king jack you know maybe a 10 but now if he has a kicker and my my flush arrives it would be even better also if he has nine eight uh queen nine and so on i have to let him barrel um now a 10 will never call the river so i bet large just in case uh he has an ace i think an ace will snap call Against the small sizing and the call, he could called a three bet. So he has jacks, tens maybe, maybe ace king, ace queen suited type of stuff. It feels weird to fold directly, but we have two outs and a backdoor straight draw. I check behind the flop. I have no clue about this player. Now we call it off most of the time. We beat a bunch of uh, Broadway stuff like queen ten and so. And if he does not go for value with threes and fives, you know, I guess he does not have enough value hands uh, to make us fold the ace king type of stuff. There we go. <laughs> What's going on in the chat? Nobody's here, huh? Hello? I am Vladimir from Russia. Anyone there? I mentioned in my Discord channel that I only have about 100 minutes to stream today. Then I have to go away and uh, maybe we can start another stream today evening or so. Unfortunately, he does not have a lot of top pairs because we have the king, so he has uh, the jack quite often. And something like a flush draw or queen 10 against those, we should bet large. But he called so quickly, anyhow, it felt, it felt like not much, not much. Inu Teradlu, are you really going to upload it uh, to your drive? The very first session I played, I did a mistake. I recorded the session with music. And that's why I cannot upload it on YouTube. If anyone is interested, I can upload it to my, to my drive and there you can download it. Okay. Against the one third bet, we can continue. Go back to her flush draw. We have ace jack high. If he bets bigger on the flop already, I let it go. Here we will lose most likely against pocket nines and stuff. Three, four, five, maybe sixes, maybe fives. Huh. Okay, that's a huge bet, my friend. Uh, I think he should not bet that large with uh, pocket eights. So that might be a greedy bet with sixes and fives. I don't think he has the flush draw in, um, in red, in, in hearts too often. He could bet that on the turn, maybe. Easy all in here. So far, this uh, player looks very tight. I don't think he has jacks too often. It's ace-king offsuit. Nice. Good start of the day, question mark. 
Yes, it is. Uh, here against Eddie, we have the Queen of Clubs. That makes me think it's not necessary to bet very large. And now on the river, we still go for value. Um, the only hand beating us is something like tens and ace king. Maybe slow played aces, but I guess he can still have weaker stuff like just the 10, right? Or king jack. Or maybe pocket jacks, because I'm not sure what kind of player he is. Pink Reptile, some Bodo Poker stream beside work. Best start in the day. <laughs> what kind of work is the question? By the way, I see that you have Prime Gaming. In front of your name, does it mean you subscribe to to my channel, or is it just a batch for anything else? Let me see if I find you in my list. So he checks the flop, now raises the turn. Okay, uh, it's still a cheapish price, so how can I fold, huh? He has the top pair, which is fine. So he checks the flop shouldn't be it shouldn't be a king too often. Okay. Uh he can have something like tens or the jack. Let's see, let's see. Oh, that is a nice turn. That is a very bad river card. What the heck is he doing? I raised the flop, I bet the turn. And now he bets big on the river. What the heck is that? Thank you for the follow, GTO noob. I think you are on, on the tables. You just three betted me. <laughs> okay, what to do here? Uh, I thought about shoving the uh, the river against his bet because I raised the flop. You know, bet the turn, uh, board paired. We block, we block quads. We block um, king nine, for example. Ay ay ay. Strange and bad river. So here, before we see. Before we see a jack or 10 on the river, I thought I can shove, but he never has ace jack or ace 10. The only thing is if a jack or 10 comes up, uh, the action is done, right? Still, it's a blank, he will shove. Pretty sure. Tank, 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 and shove. Dude, what is that sizing, Mr. Marcelo, huh? What is that sizing? There we go. Wah! Small sizing on the river. Just to fold against another very small min race. Unbelievable. The games are on. Ooh, Raja, ha, huh? one forty two. 
He's very small, but what do we have? No back to flush draw. If you second barrel, I'm done. Can uh I, I let it go. There is it. GTO noob. Thank you for your follow. Now it's on us. See, I fold this one just to play against you. Bam! We have a limpa right here. Let's mark him green. Fishy player. GT Onu seems like a very good regular. So let's give him orange. Orange, orange is a bit more dangerous uh, than red. Okay, we do a very small bet. And we get a call from King High. You, you do not expect that. Oh, don't mention it. It's too late, mate. <laughs> I feel like getting milked. Yes, call. Please, King High. Pocket nines. No, I have a nine. It's not po possible to have pocket nines. <laughs> uh, We check. Mr. Ui Ui Nice. Thank you very much for your follow. Thank you. Smallish race, we need a 10, but even the 10 does not give us the nuts. I, uh, it's still a small race, so one one time continue. No back to flush, right? It feels weird, right? The doors are open for him to do something now, but often we have a queen. We have a nine. We have tens and jacks. If I want to bet... Uh, a lot from my range on the flop and I do not check call the tens and jacks and we could have that in our range. Okay. I I won the last one, so this is on you. X Coop would be great to have the Watts. Uh I think the the sessions are uploaded on on Twitch for 14 days, I believe. So you should be able to see the past streams on, on Twitch. Other than that, you can follow on YouTube. I try my best to upload the sessions there. If I play music, sometimes I fuck it up and have And have uh, copyright music and then I get a warning from YouTube and I have to take it off. I know some options how to avoid that but sometimes I I just fuck it up and then it's my fault. I know I can record my voice and still play music in the stream and if I upload it to YouTube, I can do it without music, but uh, I have to choose the correct settings for that. Pocket hands, big blind against small blind, three bet and we will shove it if he four bets. Pocket fours, we go for a small raise just for protection if he has ace, queen, ace, jack, queen, jack and so on and he folds directly, cool. Here I said we get it in. If if he has it, you know, this time then it is how it is. But small blind against big blind, there's nothing I can do. Okay, we have 57%, 57%, 78%, 78.1, 31.8 and 0. 
and that is what counts at the end. I start with a bigger bet. It seems like he's not a regular. We'll have, uh, you know, a 10 or the gut shot quite often. Queen 9 is a gut shot. Queen Jack is a gut shot. And our hand is vulnerable, which means uh, we, we have to protect here. I go for a big bet on the turn just uh, for free showdown. Free showdown on most of the cards, right? Okay, we play very deep. We have to play carefully. If an ace, a king, a queen comes up or uh, the flush arrives. So if we pot there's 150 inside and he has about that left. So we make 55, looks like I said, hee <laughs> hee. If a three or five comes up, we have a check fold on the river, I believe. We lose against two hand combinations. It's jacks and tens, and only one of each is left, right? If he has pocket fives, three betting preflop, okay, that would be that would be terrible. Mate, what are you doing with aces and kings? It seems like you exactly have that, right? No three, no five, no flush, please. No three. No five, no flush, I fold. I would take another sizing on the turn um, whenever the stacks are different, but with that stack depth, I think I just wanna get it in, right? I can bet uh, quite normal on the turn and shove the river for 160% pot size, but I like to even it out a little bit uh, and and go for the big bet on the turn to leave about pot size-ish on the river. Also, the board was wet which makes sense to to protect directly, protect. Hopefully we get something like pocket eights to fold with a small bet. No, not this time. So I believe there was an open race, a caller. We made a squeeze, he overcalled again, betting small on the flop. As I said, exactly against pocket eights, pocket sevens, and uh, some players folded directly against small sizing. We tried, did not work out. Let's see what he has. The soul read. Should we do something on the river after checking the turn? I, I am not sure if he would fold it. Against what sizing? One third? Huge? Obviously, if he checks the turn, he does not have the trips. The next time I will have a look into his hand because we we have the power to do so. I have connections to Poker Stars. Yes, yes, we can see his hands. Now we'll just do this. Bzz, bzz. Uh -huh, uh -huh. His squeeze sizing is too small. That's why we can continue for sure. Junpo, welcome back. Don't mention what? Oh, we get a free card. That is good. I guess here we dislike to bet against two players. If we get check raised, our our equity is uh, done. Our chance to hit to hit the gut shot or the backdoor flush draw. Okay, playtime. Guy from Luxembourg. Sorry about that, mate. Interesting here. I think that could be a raise for value, so we do small one. Andro Tania, thank you very much for your follow. One third sizing would be perfect from him. No, he does not. So we go for the one third now. And he calls with the ace high or with
this is interesting i go for a big sizing i guess we do not see random floats so uh this is clearly to attack the ace and i do not know whenever he hits a better two pair i guess most players would still continue something like uh, a gut shot king jack king 10 jack 10 Pocket ten right here. I do not have stats from the opponents, but it looks like seventeen fifteen and eighteen uh, nine player very very tight, and then it it it's definitely more a fold than anything else with the tens. So do not overrate that hand right there. I bet the flop against three players. Uh, if you want to bet against multiple players. You take a smaller sizing. I'm happy if they fall deuces and fives and sevens because what is the alternative? Alternative is to check and then uh, everybody has, you know, 5% hitting chance. That's bullshit, right? 5% hitting chance for everyone. And we never know whenever anyone hits uh, his deuces or his fives. So we need to protect. And then on the turn, he donks into two players. During we can have two pairs sets. We can have the queen jack as well. I think it's a very, very clear fold against his donk bet. That was a pretty fast check on the river. I think that is just a, the flush draw or something like king high. Um. I try it. I try it. And he instantly folds, yeah. I wanted to try one big blind bet if he has auto fold button on, which could be, you know, possible. Auto fold button on. Imagine you play a pot 300 big blinds, anyone has auto fold button on, and you have no clue what to do with your missed 5-4 uh, suited, you know, not low. You, you dislike to bluff? Hey, sometimes try it out. One big blind. Paradise Fisher. Moin Moin. Yes, we, we need some music in the background. Belgium proud. Second hand against you. Second time you three bet me. Close one. Um, YouTube. Go for this. So he checks the flop, he calls the turn, I go for... If I don't know which sizing, big or small, right, then uh, let's do this. Is that a 6? Pocket 8? No. If you just joined, it's our fourth session since the stream restart. I have two kids and normally I'm not able to stream anymore. But now they are one week not here. That's why I decided to, to stream for five, six or maybe all seven days. In the first session we made 1.3k. 
in the second session we played about break evenish and yesterday i think we made 800 or so belgian proud again i i just said it every time three bad huh Do I look like uh, full to three bed 85% or what? This is an interesting spot. I guess mostly the players are uh, super tight. Wow, he jams directly and has aces. Okay. I thought ace king as well, maybe pocket jacks. Uh, this is interesting. It's lower limit. A tight fold. If I'm uh, cut off versus button versus blind or so, then clear we shove it. But under the gun, open race, I'm not sure. So let's see what he has. He could go for value with uh, something like queens twice. But as I said before, he three bets um, the third time in a row. So hopefully, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe he hits the 10 on the river. Maybe it's something like the 8, 8, 7 or so. Yeah, 9, 8. Makes perfect perfect sense. And I guess we uh, did a great job, job calling the turn because we still had, you know, the outs for, for our hand. So this was not over aggressive for from his side. It was uh, perfectly played, right? The suited connectors against the button are three bets. We check here. Hopefully, we win against something like that. This in, is interesting. After my check raise, he makes uh, a three bet on the flop. Should be a lot of. I mean, some players use uh, king queen for it, sometimes. But this should be a lot of sets included. After him checking the turn, it's not a set. Uh. Yeah, so this is King 10 going for protection on the Flopperino, huh? Yep. Another soul read. Maybe I should just jam uh, the flop and then he would be capable of folding the King 10. But it's so rare that uh, they they use the King 10 for, for it and have most likely the sets. Doesn't matter. With so many outs, unfortunately, he did not arrive. And good for us, he did not bet the turn. So we really got the free card. We had uh, the flush draw, the gut shot, the over card, right? Bad card for us. So I go into check call. We lose against 7-6 suited, a6 suited, and we lose against ace queen, and that's it. With his sizing, he's telling me he has something like uh, pocket nines going for protection and uh, likes to get a free showdown. Oh, pocket eights would be terrible now. <laughs> exactly eight or so what ah uh. it feels so terrible to fold that hand that is so ultra nitty I cannot believe ah. <clears throat> Ah, that that shaft came so quickly. I mean, he never has nines, right? Or sevens playing that way. So my first intention was, okay, he can have those middling pair, pairs going for free showdown. But if he shoves on the river, then it's not those middling pairs anymore. That is nuts or nothing. And what kind of nothing could he have? Yes, he could call the flop with uh, all the backdoor stuff. Just having, you know, ace, ace jack high. 
But is a strike high good enough for him with showdown value maybe or would he always bluff it? Question mark. Ah, that was strange. The king queen. Oh, what's so nitty? <laughs> oh. He's a 29-17 player so far. I, I don't think I have enough stats from the opponent, but if he is that loose, that is not an open race for sure. Thank you very much for the follow, Mr. Nex uh, Marchington. Mr. or Mrs. We do not know. One of the rare times I call my medium or small pocket pair for set mining reason. We have Valimpa right here, so we mark him green, most likely a fishy player. Interesting flop, it's so dynamic. So the turn card will change a lot uh, if a 9, a 7 comes up, if the flush comes up, if the 8 comes up. So you can bet for sure. But normally if I check, uh, I expect him to bet quite often. Beepo, Junkie, hello Bodo, nice to see you streaming. Hey, hey. Against the limper, our hand should be good enough even out of position to isolate him, play against him alone. And some players have uh, limp folds, which would be even better if you can spot that sometimes. Hopefully he folds something like eight or ace five suited, which he joined given the fishy player. After him, him check calling the flop, um, how often, he never, he rarely has two pair. I, th I think I go with the over bet. To get a seven to fold, king seven in hearts also has to fold. Even some jack x, um, you know, have to think against an over bet and then you never know if another bet is coming and so on, which draw I really have. China Tiger, again, shoving against me. I go for a medium sized bet. I think he can have a lot of uh, ace high type of hands or pocket fives. Not check raising the flop means he rarely has the jack. And if he has the eight, okay, then he has the eight, right? Uh, did we play three way here? So he, his uh, bet becomes a bit. Stronger. Oh, this is interesting. There's no flash draw possible. So I doubt he calls king queen twice. Ace 10 is possible. If he bets the flop against two players and now bets the turn. Mm. I will shove here. I think he, he should not have king uh, queen after I bet the turn quite healthy. So uh, we get it in. I think ace 10 is absolutely possible. Hopefully he folds that.
<laughs> what? <sighs> okay, okay. His his sizing was very thin. So possible, okay? Possible to take that sizing uh, for a thin value bet. <laughs> and I thought I'm my hand might be phase up after betting flop betting turn. Uh, checking river or so. Ah, this is one of the craziest things I have seen in a while. I mean, I have seen fishy stuff, but was that was that like super fishy or was that oh hmm ha into you know maybe he is saying I have king queen or a bluff. That was super strange. Oh. I did not jam here because he was not in a uh, late position so for against his early position stuff I played this way here yeah Uh, this is very interesting. I bet the flop, I bet the turn. The board is so draw heavy, he should not have a set calling flop and turn. I think um, because it's so drawy, he would raise it anywhere. So this can be ace, 10, ace, queen, exactly. Okay, ace, 10, ace, queen, exactly. King Jack suited in um, red, possible. It does not feel well. But we beat something like eight seven nine nine eight smaller other flush draws like seven like eight seven in in hearts possible given the price we need twenty nine percent i I think we are often behind often but often enough that's the question okay that's exactly a screen. It, it's fine. As I said, we need 29%. If we lose it two times before we win it one time, then we are still profitable in that spot. I check here, let him do the job. China Tiger is crazy sometimes. Thank you for the follow, Mr. Gentleman. GTO noob, so pumped for getting called a very good wreck. <laughs> I mean, your stats from that small sample I have look way better than from a, a lot of nits, right? So, sure, you can win in poker playing uh, 1914, but in order to survive against other good players, this will not really work out. And you had something like uh, 27, 22. That is aggro, that is like, you understand the game, I believe. What else can I do? I'm giving you a, a tough regular sign. See here, GTO noob, 26, 22. Let's see what kind of sample I have from you it's an oh 940 hands already uh the pot is too big to be heads up so it seems like we played three way and if he bets three way on the turn then it's a bit stronger and that's why i fold Alright guys, let us see how Holder Manager looks like. We have that. Let's refresh. It's... Oh, I did not see. What did change? 
obviously the amount of hands did change did we win or lose something or was it around about the same 2248 i think it should be around about the same right against the min open race i call i'm not sure of those players Ah, check race, huh? Mr. C.M. Burns from Germany. I only have two outs, but in that case, I have a backdoor flush draw and backdoor straight draw as well. Let's see if we hit something. Not yet. He will fire $9.74. No, it's a small bet. A small one, Mr. C.M. Burns. So you wanna you wanna get something slowly, huh? Not with me. I I collect it here. China Tiger always shoves against me. This time you get the call. Spoken nines. We have to win the flip. A three. A three. I take the king. Sorry, Mr. China Tiger. Oh, this hand. A lot of players might think, ah, we get better pot odds if another player is in the hand. But I think, given he is in the hand, it, it's, it becomes more likely a fold. Because it gets harder to realize our hand equity. Huh? Let's see, let's see what we get. <laughs> I told you guys, if you want to learn how to hit like that, please subscribe on YouTube. What now? You have a set of nines? Millenbacher. Check raised flop. Hopefully he has like sixes or ace three type of stuff. Unfortunately, we blocked the seven of uh, clubs, so I dislike it a bit. I guess a, a, weak, a, a weak jack is absolutely reasonable in that spot. River goes check check. Pocket eights. Ah, one better than me. Donny Montana, denke die Musik wird übersetzt unten rechts im Bild neben Einstellungen übersetzt. Okay, uh, I heard something about. About subtitles. Can you disable the subtitles? Not sure where that was coming from. Oh, he is so loose so far. If I 3-bet, I don't think I have enough fold equity. Um, yeah. Playing deep against the loose player, 3-betting. Ah. Uh, okay, we play deep here and his 3-bet is smaller. So this time, uh, a, a one gap up becomes a call. Interesting check. We have a backdoor flush draw. I think whenever he checks, he does not fold directly. I think uh, king, queen, king, jack would bet. So if he checks, he calls at least one time. And then I can ask myself, I'm ready to bet a flop turn and river to get him off his, you know, queens, kings, ace, something. Yeah, yeah, Mambo, Omk, Bodo online again. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? Oh, we got a chest. 
Pa 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 pam. Thank you very much for the follow, Tiltberger. And we got a 50 cent. Yahoo! Pocket nines against Under the Gun, three big blind rays from a 1715 player. Okay. Three bet, no calling. Ugh. No shame in folding. Um, Let's see how many hands we have from this guy. We have 40 hands so far. That is not a sample. He made a smallish three bet pre flop, but it's against my early position open, huh? I play it simple. Normally you can raise that stuff and then you have to call it off. Now we play it simple. Thank you for the follow, Mr. The Wiper. It's so dry because we unblock both flush draws. We could uh, definitely jam the turn. But yeah. I mean. Check, check. And he has ace king. Nice. On the river, I do not go for value. That would be too thin, in my opinion. Mushno, Bodo, why did you jam the ace king against the small riverbed from villain? Uh, ace king. Oh, I wanted to represent king queen because I th uh because I thought he can never have it. And I thought ace 10 something like that fits perfectly in his value range on the river and then he has a hard decision with it, right? That's why I check jammed it. Sometimes we are right with our assumptions and sometimes we are wrong, right? And even if he has ace 10, it wouldn't be guaranteed that um, he folds it. What? We win with the 10 high. <laughs> oh, the games. What can I say? Luck, lucky for him, he did not bluff the river because obviously my 10 high would be a hero call. <clears throat> the ten. Huh? <laughs> Another <laughs> Another ten high win. Two in a row. Let's go. <laughs> I I would I would call them anyway. So uh because I can see their hand. <laughs> Bzz, bzz. Uh, easy river car. Whoops. Not three betting ace king preflop and then betting the river against. Whenever I have you beat, I call. Whenever I'm behind, I fold. I guess that was not, not the best play probably. Okay, that is interesting. Uh, I three bet. I think he cold called. If he has nines and eights, I guess he will not bluff. 
And if he has uh, Jacks, Ace, Queen and stuff. He will not fold against one bet and we have to fire through. Huh? One time. Or did I misread the situation anyhow? Oh, this is interesting. We should have the best hand. Nah. But an ace is still fine because he would not bet too many ace x hands on the turn. So now we win against pocket eights or pocket tens. Pocket threes. Oh, I did not read the whole message. Um, why did you jam the ace king? Did you turn the hand into a bluff against two pair? Yes, exactly. Couldn't be a call better. Uh, I thought my opponent has never a real bluff. I mean, there was no flush draw possible, no real straight draw or so. So my opponent should not have a bluff. And uh, the only hand we beat is something like ace queen he goes for a very thin value but i i believe that he does not go for that thin value right so that means if he has no bluffs and we do not beat his value hands all the value hands are beating us but still even if the value hands look great like a two pair typish hand ace 10 on the ace jack 10 board it's against the huge check race, it's not that great anymore, right? So we tried and it was a funny spot. Check race from our opponent, he can have a lot of 5x hands, sure. But sometimes they check race with ace4, with uh, just random two overcards. Now it becomes problematic. He should take a smaller sizing. He does. So he uh, knows how to play that spot. We have an easy call because we have top pair. He can still have all the 5x, all the flush flushes. Nuki Nuki from United Kingdom. Because of his turn sizing, he receives a regular... sign check and we check as well i guess we win against something like pocket sevens maybe we can go for value on the river <coughs> against sevens but then if he's a very strong player maybe he gives us a lot of problems by check raising the river or so so we just take the showdown and it's six eight off suit oh six eight off suit calling in the big blind against my cutoff open race sure i make it small but six eight off suit if you think you have a huge edge, okay. Scarface, thank you very much for your follow. Thank you. Uh, funny turn card. I dislike to get jammed on. He can have queen nine suited, nine seven suited. He can have tens. When if whenever we bet the turn, we can get him to fold on the river because if he calls the turn, uh, it's you know, it's a lot of a ten nine and so. But uh, now we could bet large to get you know. I think a small bet is bad. We bet super big or we we leave it. And su super big, I mean 150% to get something like 10, 9 to fold. Because we can still have ace, jack. We can still have uh, the over pairs. Pocket deuces. Oh, that is a very loose call on the flop. And we have the ace, the king, the queen, the flush as an out. <laughs> and nothing arrived. Okay, deuces is very... Ooh, very loose. Huh? 
Uh, I do not have diamond. He check calls the flop, he checks the river. I believe every king goes for value, uh, Jack can go for value. So that is most likely the five. But after me checking the turn, I think this player will call me off with the five directly. So um, ace 10 possible as well. It's pretty much the same like the five. Good floporino right there. Um, I dislike to see an ace if he has kings. I dislike to see another heart. I will do this. I would do that as a bluff sometimes as well because it's so cheap. Also, it allows him to get it indirectly. And now it's always the question how much you want to bet. If he has an overpair, I think... He does not fold it anyway. If he has like ace king, I with a flush draw. Not sure. Um, I go for a small bet to provoke him. So hopefully he is doing a raise. He would raise a flush for sure, given the smaller sizing. Ah, the queen 10 suited. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, whenever your opponent falls doing you have the nuts or close to the nuts, it feels like, yeah, should I bet smaller? But as I told you, if, if he has an overpair without uh, the flush draw, hopefully he gets it indirectly before we see cards scaring him off and so on. So here I bet the flop he calls. I think given my small bet he can call um, pocket sevens. He has to fold on the turn. This is not my preferred turn card. Ace Jack can fold as well. Jiri, thank you very much for your follow. Thank you. Guys, on the top of the stream, you see a text scrolling through if you are stuck with poker on you know no, no limit 10 no limit 25 i can probably help you so write me a private message on discord to the name bodo poker hashtag 7765 Uh, if he only calls, I will barrel it through. He rarely has ace queen, ace jack. So he most likely has a weak ace, something like queen 10, jack 10 or so. That is a good river. Uh, we can clearly go for value against two pair with a small bet. 
Let's see what he has. Thank you for the follow on Nick Chow. Thank you. Uh, I, I don't don't think he has the king too often, so uh, we block the ace high. I guess it could be sevens and we have to let him do the job. So we check a call against sevens. That's the plan. And if you ask me why I know his hand, it's because we... Zip, zip, zip. We can see it. yoo -hoo! Did not work out. If you ask why I fold sometimes out of position gegen three bets, hence the solver would say, okay, you have to continue those. It's because their three bets are a bit bigger, which is, allows me to fold a bit more. But also if they do not three bet like the solver, if they are a bit tighter, that, you know, means, okay, I, ha I have to fold some stuff. I'm not sure if he has some uh, tricks with check jams, uh, limp jams, but limping stuff should be fishy so i go this way still possible he has aces limped under the gun given the small stack to pot ratio playing this way i go for another very small bet we shouldn't be afraid of too much and if he has something like eights he only has two outs He shops and shows aces, huh? Dalibor. No. What is that? Check call, check call, half pot. Don't tell me it's 8 7. No, 8 7, he would not call in the flop. What the heck is that, mate? Call. Sevens. Sevens, yeah. So my assumption on the turn, he has pocket eights, wasn't too wrong. And on the river, he would hit. Now he had it on the turn already. Ah! That makes me salty. So he check raises the flop. The hands beating us is uh, something like King Jack, exactly. Oh no! Oh no, he was pre flop raiser, check raising uh, the flop. Okay, I got it. He was check raising the flop as pre flop raiser. So, quads, King Jack possible. Oh, okay. And now you go for a check raise on the river or what? What do you have, mate? It cannot be too strong. Ace, queen? I, I guess he's doing a large raise and has a better full house, huh? Yeah, there's the raise. Um... It feels so strange. It, it feels like he has it way too often. Way, way, way too often. Um, we have to call 14 for 47 in the pot, which means we need 25% to call here. I think he has it way too often because uh, I do not expect a lot of bluffs. And the value hands are beating us. I, th I, I cannot see king-queen often enough. Queen-10, maybe sometimes. King queen, okay. Because we took the very small sizing on the river, he he went for the value raise, which is uh it's fine.
So if I bet bigger on the river and he would still raise then, ooh, then it uh, becomes closer and closer. Optimus, thank you very much for your follow. Thank you. Scarface, hey Bodo, you seem to be playing really good. A bit nitty preflop, are you? Are you like a legend? What is a legend, huh? As I was young, I played a bit higher. Up to no limit 20,000. And I played in a two, uh, in a few TV events with Phil Lark and so. So I bet that uh, river to get him off. I mean, a queen will call every time. But maybe he folds a five. I did a lot of poker boot camps, so players vid visited me in my home. They sleep there for a few days. Not only about poker, it's also about, you know, the, the, the connection, the inspiration, just watching other players above the shoulders, how they play, how they approach some spots, how long they play, what volume, how many tables, how the rhythm looks like. That's what I always say. It's not only the, the knowledge you have in theory, it's also what you bring to the tables. Some players, uh, they, they do a nap on uh, 1 p.m. and then they feel refreshed. He seems to be very tight, but what can we do, right? Uh, just calling here, nah. I would not jam the jacks, but the queens, we have to jam. Also, he makes a big, uh, he makes a, a big four bet, which is in our favor, because if he, dire if he would be able to fold anyhow, that uh, would give us more money, right? So let's see what stats he plays. So we have 1,200 hands so far, and he had 1,715 stats. Jesus Christ, that is super nitty. I guess if, if I see those stats afterwards, it feels like, <laughs> like a mistake. But if he has ace-king offsuit inside his four betting range and would not call it against my three bet, then I guess, yeah, then... It should r become roundabout okay. It feels strange, right? Having queens in the small blind against the cutoff for just 100 big blinds, it's not 140 big blinds, and then say, oh, it could be a punt. Gert Debo, good afternoon, Bodo. Hey, hey. Unfortunately, I cannot uh, stream too long. We have 30 minutes left and then i have to pick something up uh he is doing a bet on that board feels strange small bet on such a board after three betting, sure, he can bet range if he has ace king, ace queen and stuff. But I I try. I try to collect it then. Oops, wanted to mark him red, good player.
against the boss. If he bets twice, it's never it's never queens. So ooh, maybe it's a better ace then. Okay, here uh, he check calls the flop, and now he bombs the river. That that could be the flush, obviously. Uh, I don't think he has a slow plate set. King queen possible, ace ten. You know, as a backdoor spade possible. Uh, I will still call it. Because it's one of the best hands we have after ch after checking the turn, right? I hope for I hope for a six five turning into a bluff, ace four, ace do something like that. Okay, that is what we hope for. Uh, he check calls the flop, check calls the turn. Interesting. I think he folds everything beside the six, right? I don't think, yeah. I go for a small bet. Fold! Ace high flush draw. No, he does not fold the ace high flush draw. I always have the ace, right, in that case. And he always has kings. Going for value. The boss had huh? the boss. Hero. Hero fold. I guess he folds and shows me. It's a bit too obvious. Ah. Should we go for a min raise on the river, huh? I was greedy. Rofi Payne and KV Kevin Dota, thank you very much for your follows, guys. Thank you. He bets the flop, checks the turn. We can go for value twice, just in case he hit it the queen. Nope. Tiltberger, hey Bodo, when I was like 15 years old, I was in a radio with JJ. Oh, JJ, I remember JJ. JJ? Radio was that from Beat CS or from Beat Radio? Because as I played Counter Strike Professional, we had, uh, let's say, a cooperation with uh, Radio Beat. Uh, and here required a pro CS team. Did you lead that team at that time? Beat Radio, I think, was it called? See, yes, I remember. It was written like this. Uh, we have a backdoor flush draw. We uh, we still beat some seven six suited stuff and so on. Now he never has two pair after checking the turn. He never has two pair. So. Yeah. Oh, he has the two pair. I was wrong. I mean, if he bets range on the flop, it's already good if we get like fives to fold. Some, some players might think, oh, we have showdown value hitting the three on the river. And that is uh, semi-correct. Okay, it's not that much showdown value in my opinion. Nice. Beat CS. <laughs> the good old, old times, as the internet was bad, we played Counter Strike on LAN parties. Aggro! 
playing aggro. I would bet uh, the flop without having the jack of hearts. With the jack of hearts, I'm not afraid to see hearts. So let's do it this way. Whoops. He bets the turn and the river. Let's see where is he coming from. United Kingdom. Um, we block the Jack 10. I'm not sure if he has 9-8 playing like this. A king is not reasonable. You know what, guys? I One time I have a good feeling. If he takes a half pot size bet, we need 25%. That means if we are wrong two times before we win it one time, it will be enough, right? So we do not expect to to get it every time. But if we win it often enough, it will be fine. So show me ace three in other color. Ah! Nice. Uh, I go for the check call. We could go for value, but how often would he call like 9-7 in hearts, huh? What? The set of fours. Whee, shoo, shoo. Check here, call the river against... Oh, is that the same player like before with the ace-5? Hopefully you do not have ace-5 now. Do not jam, do not jam. Nine! Ah, he calls the flop. Now he jams the river. Oh, no time bank. I did not jam here. We had the fish as well. Also, we are under the gun. It's not necessary to get it in directly. Playing this way, we have a backdoor flush draw on the flop against a small sizing, we can continue. We get a super good price here, so we call. We block jacks and ace jack. He could min raise the flop with ace queen for a thin value anyhow. Now I guess we are always behind. Nice. So it's it's possible he min raises with ace five for uh, you know any information or a free showdown, or he has king queen with a gut shot, getting creative, and then he catches me on the river where uh, the queen arrives. So that's why I took the aggressive line. As I said, we block the jacks, the ace jack. What kind of hand would he raise on the flop? Like set of aces? Low played? Nah. I don't think we get anything to fold. Uh. Yay! That is a good turn cut after everybody checks. So I want to protect against all the overcards. If anyone has uh, Jack Ten and so, Tiltberger, we are fucking boomers now. Beat Radio is running well. Nice. Awesome, I was about to fill in, I think, for a game because I played well at the time. Okay. Uh, I was 
even invited as a backup or something in the ASL roster. That was 20 years ago. Yes, yes. Counter-Strike times, long time ago. I remember the, f the very first time I was in Las Vegas was not because of poker. It was because of Counter-Strike. It was 2002. I do not 3 bet here against the small sizing with the fish in the blinds. One of the rare spots where I do not play a 3 bet only strategy from the small blind. Uh, he took a bigger sizing on the flop. Thank you for the follow. Free flop damage. Thank you. Let's see what he bets big on the flop. It was the ace 10, so he catched some showdown value on the turn. Interesting check raise by him. Could be pocket eights or queen eight. Um, we block the pocket fours. That's a bad card for us because jack 10, 10, 9 is possible. Garface, what do you think micro sticks players do wrong? Um too passive, too sticky. Too much. I want to see, and that's why I call. Oh, I invested so much money in the pot. That's why I have a look now. I mean, if you speak about micro stakes like No Limit 2, obviously a lot is missing there sometimes they do not know starting hand charts they do not know um the rules correctly right so for no limit 2 there's something very different for no limit 10 if you have a clue about the game if you are nearly break even what you do wrong probably and very often it's uh it's the tilting aspect right you are able to have a small win rate if you play what you know but you do not always perform what you know okay often you you just play bad maybe you have problems with your girlfriend maybe uh you ate a heavy steak and then you do not perform well Do you need to have a lot of uh, GTO knowledge versus Rex to beat No Limit 50? Oh, No Limit 50 is not micro stakes for me. I would consider uh, something like No Limit 50, No Limit 100 definitely mid stakes. And see, if if you can win money on a limit like uh, No Limit 50, No Limit 100, and that is enough to survive in most countries, right? Because on No Limit 100, you can do like $30 per hour. That's huge. And that's why my mind is telling me I cannot, I, I cannot say that is very small or so. Um, do you need no? Uh, do you need GTO knowledge? I mean, it helps, right? I'm a big fan of GTO. I'm big fan of all the programs because it makes it easy to learn. Oh, 
that's interesting. Um, would he ever hero call something like tens? I mean, we lose against sets, but that is something we cannot avoid. Tens hero call, huh? If he has tens on the turn, I guess he should fold it already. Oh, there was something like fives with a gut shot, right? Possible. Maybe he has that. Julian B, good morning, Master Bodo. Sick read with the Jack Seven. <laughs> Speaking about GTO, if you have no clue how to use it, if you have a solver but you do not have the systems to solve it, just write me a private message on Discord and we can sort something out. I have systems with 1000 gigabyte of RAM, which makes it possible to solve all the preflop spots but also uh, the postflop stuff for PyroSolver or GTO+. Plus. He seems to be a tight player. I don't think he will randomly check raise the flop. And if he does not randomly check raise the flop often enough, it my C bet should be fine. Thank you very much for the follow. Pia Pia Forma Policia or so. I have two backdoors, so we call this time. He's going for a bigger bet on the low um on the low board. That should be fine. And now he jams, right? If he has an 8, obviously he calls, but how many 8s would he check raise on the flop? He can have something like pocket 5s or 8s and uh, raises then. But he folded, which is cool, which means he had random 2 overcards trying his luck this time, or he had, I guess 7 6 was an open ended straight draw. Maybe he luckily catched uh, the backdoor flush draw, the same one I had. We have a bad bluff catcher on further streets because uh, we block a jack nine, queen jack, king jack type of stuff. This is a huge three bet. He is in position, so I do not continue this. I guess we can often win against, you know, the 10. We see a cold call from him against my four bet. So that is uh, like Queens type of stuff. He is uh, checking the turn to fire the river, big sizing on the river after checking the turn. Okay. Could be uh, something like uh, ace queen going for value now. I do not have any, you know, my, my hand does not feel too well to to bluff now. And as I said, calling. I mean, would he would he turn eight seven into a bluff or so? I'm not sure. Uh, here that is super interesting. Hubertus. Do we have to call thirty eight for one hundred and ten in the pot? But if I call now, he knows that I do not have aces. So when he, he has queens, maybe he gets it in. <laughs> okay, guys, I, I tried. 
Ah, sí, sí. Exactly, Queens, huh? From Kid Magic and or Kings. Kings, because we played so deep. If he uh, five bets Kings, it feels like he isolates himself against better hands. Thank you very much for the follow, Daniel GM sixteen eleven. Thank you. Yeah, things as I said. Against bigger sizing, I fold directly. We are in the sandwich with one player behind. Uh, he does not bet the turn. Okay, let's go for a small river bet against the five or ace high. Ugh. Thin. He should not raise at all. I guess every seven bets the turn, and um, yeah, good king. A uh, king ten can raise. King ten can raise. Yeah. I open raise here. Big blind seems to be very tight. The guy with the ace king going broke for two hundred big blinds against the button with the kings. There, I have to say, uh, if if I squeeze and fold against his squeeze. Uh, against his, his five bet then and so on. I block an ace very often. So if he gets it in with ace king off suit, it does not feel too well, right? Running against the pair. You're a bit behind already. And then with one card blocked, most likely. Uh... I will post a Discord link. That's an invitation link to our Discord channel. Free to join. It does not cost you anything. No commitment, nothing. It's our chat community. You have poker related question, ask it there or write me a private message to the screen name Bodo Poker hashtag 7765. You should see me as an admin there. So it shouldn't be too hard to recognize. Um, flop, he bets I call, turn was check check, now he bets the river, it could be a weak ace, absolutely reasonable to have a weak ace. Uh, I think he should not bet a king on the flop and then on the river like that, so it's a weak ace or nothing. Let's see his stats. Uh, I do not have enough hands to say anything about it. It does not feel good, guys. I called the flop. I do not have a flush. I have... Uh, cannot call, right? He bets the flop small, and now he bets the river. We only beat something like 10-9, Jack-9 in random colors, right? But we, uh, this is a bad call. It's not recommended, but for the stream. <laughs> Can you imagine he is salt here right now? Saying exactly like, oh, Jack Nine, random colors, yeah, yeah, salty. <laughs> Jack Nine suited against this guy who from Russia. Oh. 
<gasps> oh, against that big bet, there's nothing we can do. So what is going on here? If he if he has ace jack, can you imagine we have the lower straight? How would that look like? Like this? Blue screen. After betting the flop, he has less 10x if uh, the 10 pairs. We go for value and protection against ace 5, against pocket 6s, against random 2 overcards. We could say, okay, we check the turn and hopefully he bets the random 2 overcards. But if the random 2 overcards are ace high, then he will not bluff those on the river, right? And I'm not sure if he calls like uh, queen jack often enough on the flop and then bluffs it on the river. All that together makes me think it's better to bet the eights on the turn. Uh, what happened here? He bets big. We have an open-ended straight draw, but unfortunately we do not have a flush draw, so a seven and and the queen are not really live. But on the other side, a jack and a 10 could be live, depending what he has, right? I fold it this time. I only have a few minutes left and I have to stop the stream and uh, go outside a bit. I guess we will stream later again. So let's see if there's anyone. Oh, is that real life? We have 120 viewers. Unbelievable. Thank you a lot, guys. Thank you. So as I said, if you have any questions about GTO programs, if you need GTO solves, uh, just let me know. If you need poker inspiration, coaching, help on lower limits, write me a private message. If you are an absolute beginner and you have no clue about the rules or the position, then it might be a bit too early, right? I cannot help from the very beginning. But if you play break even on no limit 10, then you are perfect, right? Then you are perfect for me. Write me a private message, please. Here you can see. It's time to go. So I will sit out next week blind. Wrap it up for that session. Oh! Oh, we forgot something. We have to see an important information because we wanted to see hold the manager how does it look like i need to refresh because those numbers are from earlier so uh we are on 2284 we still have a hand right here so i will refresh 2248 so we want something cool stuff amazing four sessions so far we had a stream restart just a few days ago. I'm a double daddy, over 40 years old, so I do not have time to stream that often. Um, but the kids are not in town for one week, so I took the opportunity and just, you know, started to stream for you guys.
and uh, hopefully we have some amazing next sessions as well because I will stream expected until Sunday and then I will see if the kindergarten is closed obviously uh, our daughter will be at home and I cannot stream too often and even if she is in kindergarten we have a six month old boy you know and uh, he loves me and I love him mostly not every time <laughs> Um, yeah, and that's why it's it's not possible to stream every day, but I'm available in Discord. Write me messages if you need help. I review sessions off the stream. I answer questions whenever I'm available. And that's it for, for this session. It's expected I will stream later again. So guys, take care. Good luck on the tables and see you later.